Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Cloak and Daggerish here. And today I'm shooting a new Entropia Universe video, obviously. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've done a Entropia Universe video. Uh, I have done a couple live streams recently with the Merry Mayhem, but that's pretty much just about done. So, uh, yeah. Today uh, I'm just doing a 50 ped hunting run here. Uh, we're hunting Kerbos at, um, we're hunting Kerbs at Boras. Yeah, I, I apologize, it's been a little bit, I've been real, real busy with Borderlands 3 lately, I've been posting a lot of that content, I'm sure you guys are sick of seeing, <laughs> seeing all these Borderlands videos, and are ready for some more Tropia Universe. Uh, but anyways... The reason I decided to hunt curbs, uh, there's a couple of re reasons why I hunt these guys a lot. Uh, one, they usually do pretty well, loot-wise. But what I'm really hunting for is a specific item. And I guess this is going to be kind of the subject of my video today, is once you start progressing out of that new player phase where you get done hunting the punies and you're starting to move up to slightly higher level mobs what you should start thinking about is whatever you're doing in Entropia Universe you should do it with some sort of purpose you should have a goal with it in mind and when you're hunting or mining or crafting or whatever you're doing what are you trying to get out of it is what you need to ask yourself so what am I trying to get out of hunting here well I want to make a profit from my hunting, right? But Mind Arc isn't necessarily going to just plop money in my lap. Unless I happen to hit a decent sized global, I'm probably going to lose money hunting. So what I'm trying to do is hunt for a specific item that I can use for crafting later on that I know I can sell and make a profit on. Because a lot of the loot that you get from the curbs for the most part uh, isn't going to have a whole lot of markup. Uh, the item I'm looking for is animal muscle oil. I'll be using that to craft simple conductors one, which have a fairly decent markup. Uh, so not only does this uh, so not only does this help me uh, obtain loot that has decent markup, uh, but it also I'm kind of doubling up on my skills here. I'm furthering my hunting skills, but I'm also giving myself materials that I can use for crafting and I can work on my crafting skills. I see a lot of other Entropy Universe players that they do a lot of hunting, they do a lot of mining, whatever, and they always talk about, well someday I want to get into crafting. And so what they do is they take all this loot that they get from hunting or mining that they think that they're going to use for crafting, and then they stick it in storage, and they're, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it all up, and then I'm gonna start, start doing these crafting runs, which is fine. That there's nothing wrong with that, but I don't like that method for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, it ties up a decent amount of ped in your storage; it just sits there, and you could be cycling that ped instead. Uh, that's that's my biggest issue with it. That and just putting it off to the side in thoughts of, well, maybe someday I'm going to use it, and then you may or may not. You not you don't really know. What I like about my method is it's active. I'm actively using my pet. It, I keep as little of it in storage as I possibly can. I'm always cycling it. I'm trying to use all of my pet at once, so to speak. So uh, what I do is I go out and I hunt for the materials that I'm looking for, and then I save those up until I have enough for a decent sized crafting run. And then I make my crafting run and then the final product from that I turn around and sell on auction. Which I then use that money to buy more guns and repair my armor and whatever. Yeah, it is similar to just hunting. I could do the same thing with just hunting. But I like that I'm kind of expanding on the experience points I'm getting. Not only am I getting experience points from hunting, but I'm also slowly starting to develop my crafting skills. Because crafting takes a long time to skill into. It's very expensive, and this is just a good way to slowly ease your way into it. It doesn't have to be this big painful ordeal 
where you spend hundreds or even thousands of peds on a single run. You just do a little bit here and there and build up your skills, similar to how you don't sit and hunt for, you know, 20 hours a day or, you know, 100 hours a week or whatever. You just do a little bit here and there when you get time and those skills slowly develop over time. This is kind of just the method behind how I'm, uh, why I'm hunting, what I hunt, uh, stuff that I kind of think about. So another thing you could do if you don't want to get into crafting but you want to stick with hunting, you should still look for an item that's going to give you profit. Uh, some people like to hunt for like rare items. They'll hunt specific mobs that will drop maybe a gun or um, pieces of armor that have real high markup and that will kind of eventually pay for, for all their hunting. Anyways, that's the method behind my madness. I hope all of you have been having decent luck in Entropia Universe lately. I actually haven't been seeing a lot of videos posted for Entropia lately, at least as far as the people I'm subscribed to and a little bit of the other people that I kind of keep an eye on. It's been kind of quiet now that Mayhem's starting to uh, come to an end. I think a lot of people are just kind of spent and uh, they're waiting for their, their ped to build back up. Me, I've been just busy with life. Work has been busy, gaming's been busy, I've been busy with YouTube, and it's hard to, to cram it all together to make time for it all. How, how have you all been? Just, uh, just let me know down in the comments how things have been going for you in Entropia Universe. Did you do really good in the Merry Mayhem event? Did you did you place? I unfortunately wasn't able to finish. Um, I was live streaming it and I hit level... I, well, I was competing in Category 1 and I hit level 25 in one of my skills which then disqualified me from category one. So once I left it, I wasn't able to get back in and I still had like four hours left. So I was a little upset about that, that I wasn't able to finish it, but there's not really a whole lot I could do. And I wasn't in a position where I was going to take top 10 by any means. So it's not like I was losing out on a, on a prize. If I had a chance at top 10, I would have chipped out and went back in, but it wasn't worth the, the extra effort. So maybe in the, maybe the spring mayhem, I'll uh, do better there. Though I don't know if I'm going to compete because now I got bumped up to category two and I don't think I can do category two, not with pixie armor anyways. I might have to pick up some ghost armor, which I don't know when I'm going to have money for that, uh, unfortunately. So I might have to put off the Mayhems for a while, but uh, there's always the, the Summer Migration event, which there isn't really any categories for that. You just go out and hunt whatever's at your level. So I'll, I'll probably do some of that, hunt some smaller like Longtooth or something for the uh, Summer Migration. Uh, but that's just kind of my plan for now, sticking with hunting for the most part. I'm probably not going to do a whole lot of mining videos just because I want to get as many of the iron missions done before the the year is up because you got that one year window to finish as many of the iron missions as you can before they close that out and completely switch over to the codex. So as you can see I'm on the, the last leg of this curb iron mission. That's another reason why I'm doing this is to uh, finish up these iron missions and get those skill points while I still can and then uh, maybe once once they close out the iron missions maybe I'll switch over to mining and do some mining for a while just to kind of change things up a little bit something I'm not
very high skilled in. Not that I'm super high skilled in hunting either, but I'm much more of a noob in that category. It would be nice to get that skill, those skills up. And I really enjoy mining in general as well. I used to, I did a ton of it when I first started playing, and uh, now I've kind of switched over to, to hunting, and I pretty much just do that for the most part. So far, this hunt, this run is not looking too promising. I haven't been paying super close attention to the loot, but I haven't seen anything substantial so far. Oh, that reflection off the water is bright. I really like what what they did with the updates, the new. Uh, textures and shading and whatnot. It kind of just makes the game pop just a little bit more. More. A lot of little ones over here. Usually there's bigger curves over here. I don't mind the little ones, but I kind of prefer when they're like level fours and fives. But the variety is nice. I don't mind having a little bit of a little bit of a mix up in there. It's better than when they drop in like the random like level eighty five mob, and then it sneaks up behind you and just murders your face. Yeah, Ped fifty and wall. more of that muscle oil. That's what I'm out here for. And then the, the other item I need for making those simple conductors is I need eye oil, which I hunt a lot of uh, Argonauts for that. Does level six gives us anything decent? Probably don't even need armor to hunt these guys, honestly. My evade's high enough. That was better. Three and a half padding roughly. But uh yeah, I hope I I'm hoping to come out with a few more Entropia videos in the near future here. I don't have any like definite plans yet. Um I got a couple ideas of stuff that I can shoot. But uh I haven't really decided on what I wanna do yet or when I'm gonna post it, but hopefully pretty soon here. So I just wanted to kind of do this short little hunting video just to kind of stay stay updated, keep giving you guys content. I thought I was going to get a global there. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this hunting run. Let's fly back and see how much we lost. Come on. I think I'm, I'm down at least 15 ped, just in ammo. Bora, Bora's is generally a pretty decent place to hunt. Uh, I've gotten a lot of small globals here. Curbs always drop decent small globals all the time. They put different armor on these guys? I don't remember them having... 
Huh, looks like Shogun armor. Sorry about that, it was kind of random. Alright. So, I had 50 ped worth of ammo. And 37, 64. And we're gonna round that up to 63 peck. Bust out the calculator here. So yeah, I was pretty close. It was 11, 11 ped, 73 pack loss, just in ammo. Uh, I don't think I had a lot of decay on the armor. 34 pack, so 12. Yeah, I probably lost about 13 ped total if you count the you know the decay from the gun and stuff too, uh, which is not terrible. Um, that's pretty pretty standard on a normal hunting run, especially one so small. But uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more uh, Entropia Universe content. And until next time, guys, you have a good one. <laughs>